Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Peter Cashin from Imperial Mining. How are you today? Good morning, Tracy. Very well, thanks. You've had a slew of basically news since you put out your PEA, PEA results for Crater Lake in June. I don't even know where to begin. How about we just start with the fact that you've increased your scandium and rare earth recoveries. Why don't we start there? Okay. Um, yeah. So um, in it, the process that we have that was inputted into the PEA, we've, we have a, a provisional patent with the U.S. Patent Office currently. Um, to put uh, before you put a final uh, patent application uh, for for uh, consideration, you have to make make damn sure that th there are opportunities to optimize. So that's uh, we're un undertaking optimization of the flow sheet. Just things like improving recoveries, uh, lowering uh, chemical inputs, uh, reducing carbon footprint. Those are all things that you try to do when you optimize. Uh, so that work's being undertaken. We started that uh, in the fall. Uh, and and so what the early results that we have right now is that the um, we've now improved the recoveries as you said uh, both for rare earths and scandium by between ten and eleven percent. So if one if one were to put a dollar figure on that, it's probably adds about a billion dollars of revenues to the bottom line that's portrayed in the PA. I hope everyone at Investor Intel Land heard what Peter just said. Also, we're looking at 50 years of production. Did I hear you right in your earlier investor talk? Correct. Um, the model that we've portrayed in the PA is for 25 years, but we have uh, basically 50 years of resource currently defined. And uh, we're also doing additional work to see, you know, to, to convert some of the inferred resource into indicated. And in doing that work, we've actually found the uh, areas of of mineralization that are thicker than we had anticipated. So it's probably going to add to the bottom line as well. So of course, for those of you out there who are looking at critical minerals in general for their portfolio, scandium, this is a very exciting critical mineral. And of course, Peter, you're a leader and expert on this topic. Do you want to give everybody an overview on why now is the time? I think five years ago is a little bit early, but today, why is it why is the time now? Well, we're seeing the results of global warming with uh, extremes of weather conditions, um, storms and tornadoes and the rest. Um, the acceleration of uh, CO2 in the, in, the, in the atmosphere is increasing at a much higher rate than was hoped for. So right now, there truly is a, a major drive to reduce carbon footprint. And you do so by, um, by lightening uh, up platforms to make them more fuel efficient, certainly for planes and combustion engine cars. Um, but also it has application, like weighting has application for things like EVs. Uh, we're not in the necessarily in the, in the battery chemistry business, but we're in uh, a complementary business where we would provide the light weighting product to reduce the, the weight of the platforms to render them more efficient. And things like EVs, you'd be able to extend uh, battery range as well. And of course, you built companies before, successful companies in the public markets before, and you were talking about how you like to wait till you have something to say before you're marketing. You now have something to say. Can you tell us what we should anticipate in the upcoming quarter or two, other than probably a little more PR? Oh, well, that's, that's part of it. I mean, I'm, I'm truly a believer that uh, I want to talk from a position of strength. So that's that's, in other words, getting all of the necessary project work completed so I have a, a good solid story with which to uh, back up our, our contentions. Um, right now, uh, with the optimization work is slated to be finished uh, sometimes later this fall. And uh, the parameters that are to be developed from that work are going to be put into the uh, final patent, patent application. We think that the patent is important because we've, we've proven it to be effective and efficient. Uh, more encouraging is the fact that now we've, we're showing improved recoveries as we scale up uh, the size of what we process at, uh, you know, at, for, the, for the flow sheet. So uh, the fi that final patent from our perspective will, will be have some value because there are a bunch of, um, uh, all, not necessarily equivalent, but alternative scandium sources that I think would benefit from um, the effectiveness of our flow sheet. 
Um, so once we do the optimization, we plan to move into um, pre-fees or feasibility work. So things like environmental baseline, uh, public consultation. We also intend to uh, use the, the final flow sheet and, and uh, at, for engineering of a pilot plant, which we want to get on the go in the, uh, the early part of 2023. So really, if you think of it, it's all it's all these these divergent pieces that are necessary for the uh, uh, for the ultimate feasibility study on the project. Well, Peter, as always, it's wonderful to get an update. Congratulations on your ongoing excellent news and associated results. And for anyone out there seeking more information on Imperial Mining, please go to this website. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Tracy. Have a good day.